Hey guys, I'm going to do my first ever empties video and I'm, I'm going to title it Chow Chow Adios aka empties because of my husband. <laughs> he always says that. He'll be like, it's like a little song he sings. I don't know, but I thought it was cute. So I was just like, I'm just going to name my empties Chow Chow Adios because they're going bye bye. All my empties are in this Ziploc bag right here and I have a ton of stuff, no lie, because I've been like trying to do it this video and try to do it and always forget but now i'm gonna remember so i could just throw this crap away so the first empty for me is this nivea lotion and it's uh it's a skin firming lotion and i love this product because it does work for me honestly i've seen that it has firmed and tightened not only with um also exercising and eating right and healthy it works but you know, because I just had a baby. I didn't just have a baby. He's seven months. But, you know, just to try to get everything back in place. I still have a long way to go to get back where I was. <laughs> this has helped me a lot. And I would definitely purchase it. Another empty of mine is this Neutrogena toner. It smells, it smells good. It wasn't strong. It's alcohol free. And I believe it's doing its job. I don't know if I, should, if I would repurchase it simply because I want to try out different ones. Right now I have the clean, clean and clear and that one's almost gone too because I use toner religiously. So yeah, I probably will repurchase it after I try other ones that I want. I have two makeup removal wipes. I have the Neutrogena one and you can tell if this is empty. I have a bunch of these and these are always going to be a repurchase of mine because they're quick when I don't feel like washing my face and I'm on the go or something like that these always come in handy or when I do my videos to spot clean them I also spot clean my brushes with the paraben spirit I don't know if you guys have heard of this but I'll do a review on this later so to spot clean I just use that and a towel but if I don't have that at hand I use the wipey makeup remover wipes I also use this one it is the uh, Epili I'll, I'll, aloe vera cleaning tissues and oh my god these work so good and i got these at the dollar store in la um there the store is called q bargain and basically it's 99 cents store there's like things that are over a uh, dollar but most everything is a dollar and these work really good and i'm gonna go back and get some more because they work awesome so if you guys have seen this brand or heard of it before definitely check it out I also ran out of my contact things. Um, I do wear contacts, very clear contacts, so uh, my eyes are naturally green. But I also have glasses, and I've been wearing glasses since I was small, like kindergarten status, or before that even. Um, so I like wearing contacts now because glasses, I never really liked them, but I wear them, especially when I don't wear contacts. I usually just wear contacts on my videos, and then on other days, I just wear my glasses. So if you guys want to do a uh, makeup tutorial for glasses, and my glasses are super thick, so it makes my eyes look big, so I don't like to wear them. That's why I usually wear contacts, but these are what I use to clean them with. It's the Boston Simplex, and what I use to put them on is the Unisol 4, just to keep my eyes hydrated. So I ran out of these. So another empties that I have is the Baby Lips 05 in Quench. And it's completely gone. I even dig up the X's in there. I already restocked on two different kinds. But this one definitely worked. It was must have. I enjoyed using it and I used it till there was nothing left. Definitely a repurchase. Baby Lips are awesome. You guys should go check it out. Since we're already in the lip product, the Revlon lipstick and sparkling cider it just looks like this there's like nothing left see the plastic and yeah it was a pretty lipstick i would repurchase it just for the fact that i like it. it's like an everyday nudie kind of color if like you're not in the mood to wear lipstick that day it's just a quick color to just throw it on your lips and you're done and the last lip product is this chopstick it doesn't even go up anymore and it's just a regular classic um chopstick these were the ones that I've always used ever since I was little. Now that I have branched out and went to baby lips, EOS lip balms, little tiny Vaseline. This one is always the one that I use. And it's the one, the original one in cherry. 
so definitely we'll always keep repurchasing that so i have some foundations that i completely used up and i'm gonna start with the liquid ones first i finished my visible lift my l'oreal visible lift i am definitely going to repurchase you can see that the thing's gone i use it all the way up i open it i destroyed it removed the rocks just to get extra and the visible lift i was 170 natural beige so definitely try that one and also i ran out of the l'oreal true match foundation i'm in shade w4 and it's all messed up from everywhere but i have to get it is so blendable so easy to use and they have so many variety of shades it's like crazy so i'm pretty sure they will have a shade for you and if not you could wait another one mix it and come out with the perfect shade as well with any foundation but this one i feel like it has a, a huge selection that you can find your perfect shade the last foundation i finished was in the Trina healthy skin and i'm in shade 40 nude and i like how it leaves your skin kind of dewy um i've been using it ever since high school and then i've branched out to different foundations and some reason i always end up going back to this one but now that it's gone definitely have to get another one and i honestly love all these foundations i'm gonna repurchase them once i get that cash flow so that's what i'm doing with well it's not really a foundation it's more like powder it's a stay matte from rimmel it's a shine control so it's a it's a pressed powder basically so it's kind of like a finishing powder after you finish putting your liquid foundation you go ahead and put this to mattify your face i already stocked up and got my other one it's um this one's 04 sandstorm and so is this one i guess the packaging has changed but it's the same color and i truly enjoy this this one still has the thing but right now i'm using my maybelline so when I finish my Maybelline or when I decide to change it, because you know how you like to change up products a bit, because you get bored, you want to try something else, or you know what I mean? And a lot of people use it because it's lightweight, long-lasting shine control with natural minerals for a flawless matte finish. I have four items left, and three of those um, products are from e.l.f. The first one is the eyebrow gel. I like this eyebrow gel, but honestly, I finished these like nobody's business. But I enjoy it, and it was only a dollar, so if you guys want to check this product out, go for it, because it works, but it just runs out too quickly in my eyes, so I won't repurchase it. I might as well spend like the extra two bucks to get a bigger size, and it will last this long. product, which I already have a backup of, is the primer, and this is my backup. I guess the packaging changed but this is my old one this is my new one and i believe it's just as good as like the urban decay primer the lorac um primer if you guys are beginning in makeup or don't know much about makeup this is a great product to start off with just because it's inexpensive and you get to start like you know get the feel of the whole makeup world <laughs> and primers basically helps your makeup adhere better you could give better payoff it makes it last longer it's just so many benefits to having a primer before for your my makeup. last elf product is this primer and oh my god i love this primer it's one of my favorite primers i ran out that's why i went to go get the l'oreal one just to you know try different ones again like i like to try different ones but this one it reminds me so much of the makeup forever primer the hd primer and the smashbox just because it's like silicone silicone -y. it's like thick i like to feel that i have product in my skin that's gonna do its job if you guys don't like that feeling then i don't suggest you get this one but for me i it i don't mind it i actually enjoy that because i know that it's working you know what i, mean? I should definitely ch check this out it's only six dollars and again instead of um splurging or spending all the money on an expensive ass primer you go ahead and get this one just to try it out if you need to make up or if you're just looking for a cheaper alternative and not trying to spend all that money and my last empties product is these whitening strips i finished the whole box already so no mas um i got these at amazon just because i found it cheaper yeah if you guys haven't tried them out my teeth i feel like are sensitive i got a little bit of sensitivity out from them but it's, it was nothing unbearable and I honestly liked how my teeth turned out at the end 
and I'll definitely repurch another box soon. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my first ever empties video. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you guys like this video, always remember to give it a thumbs up. And remember you're beautiful. God bless, and I'll see you in another video. Yeah.